This video, I'm going to be showing you everything I've been collectively buying over the last two years from Amazon because I'm an Amazon addict. Just like everyone else, I'm guilty as charged. The thing I love most about Amazon is the reviews. Like, I base everything I buy off of reviews. I will not buy something if it has like a certain amount of one stars. So I'm gonna start with the things that I can't really pick up because they're being used. And then I'm gonna go into a bunch of random products. So my first category is on my desk. Okay, so the first category I want to talk about is organization. But I love this because you don't even know that it's there, but it gives you so much more room. This is what it looks like. The price is kind of expensive. So the next organizer is this for makeup. This was $16.99. I fit all of the makeup I use every single day in here. Nothing more, nothing less. I could obviously fit more things in here if I wanted to, but I'm not really a makeup person, so this is definitely for you if you're not too into makeup, but you have enough. The last thing I wanted to talk about are my drawer organizers. I put them in my Ikea drawers that are under my bed. This is where I keep my pajamas, and these are perfect. They're stackable, so I have socks under here, underwear in here, my all my bras, in here, mainly sports bras, and then I have socks under here. The next category I want to talk about is beauty. So one of the things I recently picked up two months ago, I bought this. This, this is a scar removal sheet. And you put them on your scar and you live your life. That's amazing because I have used scar creams in the past. I just never remember to reapply them. So I was looking for an alternative. I have them on right now. I don't know if I can show you guys. Honestly, I forget that I have them on and I go in the shower and I shower with them and they stay on. By the way, my dog's in the back. Next beauty item is a face item. So it's gonna help you if you have dry skin. So what I was talking about is this face serum. It was around $18, I believe. I'm down to here and I probably got it around two months ago. Obviously you get a good amount of face serum and I use it every morning and every night and it helps lock in the moisture that I lose because I lose so much moisture. I used to wake up every single morning with the driest skin. Next thing really quickly I want to mention is this Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. I just got this a month ago but I used it and it's amazing. I used to use the one in the tube, I forgot the name of it. It was the dark tone one and I swore by it. Like it was messy, it got everywhere. You only need the smallest amount for it to work and it's amazing, it's amazing. Just get it, it's so easy to use, not messy at all and it's super sticky. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about are these things and <laughs> it's the reusable cotton rounds. I use these for my face every morning and every night when I use my face balm cleanser to take off. There are those face removal towels, the makeup eraser, I have that too, but I go towards this more. If you get one dirty, just grab another one. These are really gentle on my skin, which I love. If you can, pick these up, but I'm not gonna like die without these, but they're great. The next thing I wanna talk about is this hairbrush, and this hairbrush is just, a hairbrush there's like not that there's nothing amazing about it it's an affordable hairbrush it's wooden it is the hairbrush this is kind of like the mason margella what is that called that hairbrush that's a hundred dollars this is kind of like a dupe for that i found this on my own it's really delicate on my hair i have thick hair i have a lot of hair it's great i love it i highly recommend if you're looking for a new hairbrush get this one so next thing in the beauty category is gonna be kind of all together with my nails and I do my own nails at home I've been doing my nails since May this year because of the whole situation going on and how we can't go to nail salons so the first thing I use are these not cotton rounds they're cotton rectangles and they come So you know how when you use a rubbing alcohol 
or you're taking off your makeup, your makeup, you're taking off your nail polish and it leaves lint everywhere and you have to pick it off because then when you put your nail, new nail polish color, it's gonna be all clumpy because of the lint. These are lint free, so that's all I have to say. They're really affordable too. Next thing I got that helps a ton, you've probably heard of this, it's the pH Bond by Gelish and it dehydrates your nails. So if there's any leftover oils, any leftover whatever. Another thing I needed for my nail kit was this. It's an electric nail drill, nail drill kit. First you start with this one and then you work your way this way. Moving on to the next item about my nails is this gel nail light UV lamp. This one was around when I bought it. I had to buy it for $42 because they upped the price because everyone was trying to get one of these. I really like this. I think it was worth every penny and I'm definitely gonna get my money's worth out of this. So one of the random things I decided to buy were phone cases and these are the colorful phone cases, the silicone ones. And this one I added stickers to because it was pretty boring. I did buy them different brands. They weren't the same company selling them. Everyone loves this phone case every time I have it out. Someone's like, oh my god, I love that phone case. It's so cute. I love the color, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I love it too. You need to get it on Amazon, guys. Another random are these sunglasses. These sunglasses, they were super cheap and I just bought them probably like two weeks ago. I don't even use them as sunglasses. I use them as a headband. So my hair's out of my face or if I don't know what to do with my hair. Okay, next category I wanna talk about is electronics. And I think this is the most important category to me personally because I am so into YouTube now and I definitely like to invest in things. But one thing you don't need if you're a YouTuber is a phone charger. This is a USB-C charger. If you don't know what that is, it basically means faster charger. Like it will charge your phone so quick. If you're running out the door and you're like, oh my God, I'm about to go on a four hour road trip and I totally forgot to charge my phone, this is your best friend. I would say it's pricey because when I was looking at it, I was like, do I really wanna spend $30 on a charger? You do. You do, you don't think you do, but you do, trust me. Okay guys, so my phone is at 19%, so I'm about to put it to charge. And we're gonna see how long it takes to charge my phone. Okay, so it's been over an hour and my phone, 95% and it's 919. So that's that. And the next thing I wanna talk about is I kinda wanna get into like camera stuff like this. This is a camera case and I bought this last year and I put my Canon G7X Mark II and I take it everywhere with me and my camera has never been damaged. I've never had any issues with it because I take care of it. I love my camera like it's a baby. It's pretty handy. Another thing about it, it holds your memory cards. So there's this little slot inside. I buy my memory cards only on Amazon. They're super overpriced in Target. They're way too much money in Target if you're buying your memory cards in stores. Please don't do that. Buy them on Amazon. I bought these for around $12. They're the 32 gigabyte sand disc class 10. That's everything that I have to talk about for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what else you want to see for me specifically. I am here for you. If you ever need to talk to me, you can DM me on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.